My word! Never have I seen such a fiend! If we attack the tail, we are due to the fiend. Methinks I aspire a spot that will yield us ore. Ore is heavy, but well worth its weight.
exploiting our enemy's weakness. There ought not to be water here. I have an ill feeling about this. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my own. I would gladly be obeyed. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. It seems I've collected a few too many things. Perhaps I ought to be more selective in future. There's no one We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes.
Now that was a satisfying bit of exploration. Though I should hope we need not always be so thorough. Let us make for a safe location where we might regain our strength. Would that such tranquility could last. You have my support. I'll gather this. It might be of use. A surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. What do you want? I'm in no mood to have my ear talked off, thank you. My back's a fire. I can scarce talk for the pain. Leave an old man be. Mind, I wouldn't say no to some wild flowers if you happen to have any with you. A handful of those and I could prepare a poultice that'd help me make it home. we need to deliver, do we not? Let a what is it now? Unless you've brought me some wildflowers, I prefer to be left alone. Well, that was most kind of you. My thanks for the trouble. Right. Here goes naught. Relief at last. I was beginning to fear that I'd be stuck here for the rest of my days.
I've a mind to thank you, sir. Would you look in on me at my home? I live nearby. There aren't too many houses out here, so you'll find it soon enough, I expect. Sir Galstab has spoke of a reward for our efforts. Shall we call upon him at his home? Then follow me. I'll lead the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Follow me. Well, I'll be. My thanks. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. It is a dangerous thing, traveling after dark. Mayhap we could pass the night here. Do you mind coming over here? We're here, Master. I beg pardon, sir, but forgive me, dear. I forgot to tell you. I asked this good sir to look in on me. Oh, not this again. How many times have I begged you not to bring strangers into our home? I know, dear, but this one's a kindly sort. Brought me the wildflowers I needed to make it home when I threw out my back. It is always one reason or another, isn't it? And has it e'er ended well for us? Not once. Mark my words, no one wanders this far out unless they are running from something. This one's different, I promise you. You've heard tell of the Arisen, have you not? The hero who travels far and wide to track and fell the dragon. Oh? So this stranger claims to be the Arisen? <laughs> Believe what you will, but expect no hospitality from me. You may tend to our guest yourself. You will have to forgive my wife. She has her reasons for being mistrusting, but you deserved a warmer welcome than that. Now let me fetch your reward. Wait here a moment. Mm. That fie! My back! I've done it in again. Goldstuffer, when will you learn to be more gentle with yourself? Oh, hold your tongue. All the gentleness in the world won't stop the earth from coming on when twill. It's only gotten worse of late. 
There's naught for it but to make for the curative spring. In your state, you'll never reach it. And that's to say nothing of the monsters that haunt the roads out there. They'll be on you in a moment if they see you limping along on your own. Oh, would that I could take you to the spring myself, but alas, I... Don't even think on it, my dear. I'd not ask that of you, knowing how crowded places of that ilk make you feel. But what are we to do? I fear for you, my love. The hot spring over on the island encampment would do my husband a world of good. But the way is treacherous for an injured man on his lonesome. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Fear not. You will have your reward. I just need to sit still a moment. You'd be willing to accompany me all that way? You see, my dear, what did I tell you? The Arisen's a goodly sort. I have an eye for people. Oh, don't be a fool, Gaustafa. You have barely spoken to this person. What if you were being deceived? Did you think of that? Come. Surely there are far more clever lies to tell if one's intent is to swindle. I'm not sure I can afford to refuse aid so freely given, my dear. So be it, then. It is plain your mind's made up. We'd uh, best be along. My back isn't like to fix itself. Pray see my husband safely to the encampment. I shall await your return. of spring sounds as if it would do wonders for an aching back. Let us see the good dwarf there post haste. Pray, allow me to show you the way. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Follow me, if you would. Upon us, fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Fall quite right back. Let my magic use you your weapon for the fury of the elements. Over here, if you please. My thanks. take that. We might find a use for it. I am sorry. Stand firm. You 
are not alone. So close a call offers no solace in victory. What fails to destroy us only in answers our chances of losing each other. Thinks these climbs are ill suited to habitation. It is a lonely place, to be sure. a moment. This ox cart was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Wrought by the hands of brigands. Or the claws of monsters. Careful now. Success! Once more! Could 
my trouble to walk a bit slower. Would you mind coming over here? This way, Master. Magic's brought you an elemental boon. Follow me, if you would. It should, it should be. be. Arisen, we ought to heal ourselves or use the chance. We fight. To arms.
One can see far to the distance from here. Would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. I quite agree. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing material. This curative spring sounds as if it would do wonders for an aching back. Let us see the good dwarf there post haste. Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Pray, follow me. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. You've my thanks for this. Keep an eye out for monsters now. Before you earn my spite. Are you coming, Master? Our path is here.
Over here, if you please. We have arrived. Huh. That's like to make me sick, it is. Still, there's not a swig of newt liquor can't fix, I always say. Bollocks. I'm all out. Boy there. Come at a fine time, you yeah. have. Care for a rotten egg? It was soft boiled right here in the hot spring. It is mostly sand. Won't kill you, oh no. Huh. Bought me some newt liquor, have ye? <laughs> Many thanks, Cos. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Aye. That's the stuff. There's naught finer than a gulp of newt liquor. After a hot bath, it is bliss, pure and simple. But I'll need me a nibble to go with my glug. Down the hatch. Aye, this is a dream come true, tis. Suppose you deserve aught for your trouble. Here you are, cuz. A soft boiled egg, specially prepared right here in the hot spring. Thanks for this. At last, I've ne'er seen a more welcome sight. The spring here has been visited since time to realm for its curative properties. I only hope to be able to ease the ache in my back. I'll go have my soak now, if it is all the same to you. Can't have Cleona fretting over how long I've been gone. Twinges a bit. It would seem I owe you a debt of gratitude and an apology. True to your word, you have seen my husband safely to the spring. I was so afeared for his well being, I couldn't bring myself to sit at home, waiting, wondering. So I followed you at a distance, though now I see I needn't have. My husband and I are met with persecution everywhere we turn, you see. More than one village we thought to call home has driven us away. That is why we live in so far flung a place. Gaustaffer can bear the judgment well enough, but I cannot. You, at least, have proven deserving of our trust. My husband was right about you. You are a kind soul, indeed. I shall not soon forget this good turn you've done my husband and I. You are welcome to visit us again, if your travels should happen to take you as far as our abode. I would fain lend you my skills as magic archer maester. And I'm certain my husband would be only too glad to take up his blacksmith's hammer for your sake. Sir Kaluna was the magic archer maester all along. It seems we've gained a powerful ally. Though it was not our aim. Time for a few sips. Greetings. I expect you must be weary from your travels, but you'll find this hot spring well worth the trip. Its healing waters draw upon the volcano's natural heat. Take a dip and your fatigue shall melt away in moments. In my line of business, patience is key. Do come again. Met, sir. How might I be of service? Well, now, if it ain't the current arisen, fair. have you come for a dip in the hot spring? Or mayhap to speak with me? 
Is that right? Suppose I can indulge you a moment, so long as I have a drink in hand. Consign it. This bottle's empty. Apologies, cuz. But I can't talk with a parched throat. Time for a few sips. Bollocks. All out. Come to think of it, our ranks have gone unchanged for a while now. Hold on a moment. I'll be needing my fear for you go in. What have you come for then? Greeting. It's healing waters draw upon. Always a pleasure. The waters of the hot spring have left us fighting fit. Now we can resume our journey with a renewed vigor. Understood. As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Perhaps we ought to go there first. What say you, Arisen? Forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. Fancy a gander? 
I find goods for sale. I've weapons to sell. But is that really what you came out here for? Truth be told, I'm of half a mind to pack up and leave. What with the volcano growing more active of late as well? Always a pleasure. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. You're no soldier, are you? I expect I'd not recommend camping. You'll await neath a blanket of ash. I can give you a roof over your head at least.
try in time for merchants of any ilk. Much obliged. <laughs> 